the best chess game in history. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster and today we will see together one of the most beautiful chess games ever. And you know what, before I will start I really want to show you something very close to my channel. So let's start together, come on! So this game was played between Wei Yi with white pieces against Bruzun Lazaro with the black pieces and as you can see their rating was just amazing 2724 for Wei Yi and Bruzun with 2669 so very strong two grandmasters are playing and uh, let's see so this game was played like almost nine years yeah nine years ago just amazing wow so I, I i must admit that i remember this game like it was yesterday so e4 c5 knight f3 e6 and now um way he played the move knight c3 of course d4 this is the move that you all know but also knight c3 can be possible because d4 will come the next move so a6 was played by bruzun and um, bishop e2, knight c6, and now d4, and I'm coming back to the theory, of course, c takes d4, knight takes d4, and now queen to c7. White played the move castle, knight f6, and now bishop to e3. Of course, this is the Taimanov line uh, in the Sicilian, so here there is there are some options, for example, b5, bishop b4, bishop e7, d6, the, these uh, moves are the most common ones so he played the move uh, bishop e7 for example bishop b4 also can be possible here white can play the move knight to a4 or knight takes c6 um, and this is uh, i think these are the options for white also bishop g5 makes sense a little bit but yeah uh, probably knight a4 or knight takes c6 so also after b5 for example just knight takes c6 Queen takes is a very very bad move after e5 with bishop f3, so he will take with the d pawn. You will play the move f4, uh, and now bishop b7 is the most common. e5, rook d8, queen e1, knight d5. I had some games in this uh, position. I will show you it uh, in the Sicilian tutorial maybe. So in this position, it's very nice uh, tactic that you can learn after b4, just knight a4, knight xc4, it's a very, very bad move because bishop f3 and for example, after knight f6, just bishop b6, queen d7 and bishop takes c6 and it's a checkmate after queen takes c6, queen d8, checkmate and white won the game. So it's, it's very beautiful one and yeah in some blitz and bullets maybe i won like this but in general in this position uh, bruzun played the move bishop to e7 and this is called the uh, cheviningen variation white played the move f4 d6 and now king to h1 white wants to uh, progress in the attack in the king side and of course as we already learned in the last video about the sicilian black would like um, to play in the queen side he played the move castle and now queen e1 the point is that the queen is coming to g3 this is the theory here uh, so much players uh, and games were played in this position for example after knight takes d4 bishop takes d4 b5 he played the move and after e5 for example it's not so good because f takes e5 f d takes and queen g3 and this pin is very very strong for white and this position it's not so nice for for black of course after knight d7 there is some jumping with the knight knight d5 queen d8 bishop e3 yeah it's it's very very close to a very uh, good advantage for white and maybe you know easy easy win for for white in this position um yeah so he played the move b5 and now black wants to push b4 with the threat on e4 so we're playing the move queen to g3 the point is that after uh, b4 i think just e5 this is the point um and yeah it's it's not so nice for him because after take you're taking this one and this is already a checkmate on g7 so you're losing a bishop and after 98 probably something around 94 and uh, we're bringing the knight into the attack knight f6 bishop d3 yeah it's it's very very uh, scary for for black so he played the move bishop b7 and now he, a3 okay because after e5 for example just d takes e5 bishop takes and i don't know 
Quincy, Quincy 5 probably and everything is fine because you know in the last variation that we saw after b4 e5 if black will take it bishop takes and after queen c5 for example just knight e4 and this is a game over right so this bishop is very important in this diagonal so queen g3 bishop b7 and now we will play the prophylactic move a3 um, of course knight e4 cannot be possible because queen takes g7 checkmate so we play the move rook a d8 and now rook a to e1 as we see all of uh, the white pieces uh, into in the center maybe white will play the move bishop f3 maybe bishop d3 and you know these pawns will be weak uh, in the long term uh, strategy for white so rook d7 this was the move uh, in this position Bruzun is going for it and white is playing the move bishop to d3 developing a move improving his bishop right these two bishops uh, you know these diagonals are very very strong for white and uh, white will manage to attack there uh, shortly so he played the move queen to d8 and now white thought to himself okay my bishops are doing great the knight on c3 i don't see a better position for him these rooks are doing great job right but this queen what can i say about this queen so i'll play the move queen h3 because the queen is a little bit more active on h3 because this pawn on h7 is very weak and now maybe the point is that after bishop f6 bishop f6 e5 it's a double attack on h7 and on f6 and white will take a, a bishop up right so he played the move g6 this very logical move right because uh, black uh, think about you know like the threat of white is understanding that the bishop takes f6 this is the threat with e5 so g6 is just blocking this diagonal from the bishop so we play the move f5 and this is very strong move white just wants to um to open the black king right f5 i really want to take this pawn on e6 of course so e5 was played and now bishop to e3 coming back with some plan maybe to play bishop g5 bishop h6 something around this one so rook e8 was played um, by black now f takes g6 h takes g6 why he take with f uh, h of course because f takes i don't know this file will be very very scary for him maybe rook f3 oh sorry rook f3 rook e to f1 and yeah it's it's not so easy uh, to defend about this bishop uh, this knight sorry uh, on f6 because bishop g5 queen h4 i don't know what he can do with this knight so until now h takes g6 it seems like you know white is doing fine black is doing fine white is uh, um trying to attack in the king side but until now nothing uh, happened you know like dramatically but in this position white is going for it knight to d5 unbelievable move he's understanding that his pieces are doing fine right right the queen is doing great job the bishops are doing great these two rooks but the knight is not so good so let's just replace it let's exchange it against this knight or maybe this bishop so knight takes d5 and now you can think by yourself no I'm, I'm joking it's it's just unbelievable that white you know like a human can uh, solve this position but white pieces way he did it and you know I, I i must tell you something you know maybe in the next video i will show you uh, one picture of it when i was like 12 years old i was ranked one in the world and the second one after me was dude jean kirtsov and the third one you can guess who it is way e so you know i have a picture like i'm in the in the first board secondly uh, dura and third one way e so he just unbelievable he playing just amazing one of the best players in the world uh, for that time for now i'm not sure because i didn't see him playing so much um uh, recently but yeah he's also very very strong player so rook takes f6 a brilliant move by way e the point is that he wants of course queen h7 this is the threat with checkmate in a spot king takes f7 of course queen h7 check what a move what black can play here king f f8 of course bishop h6 checkmate king f6 just e takes d5 with the rook f1 or queen g6 checkmate right so he's playing the move the only move in the position king to e6 now e takes d5 of course we're attacking the knight and now king takes right because after bishop takes just white can play bishop g6 with queen h3 
Rook F1, yeah, it's just game over, right? Because I don't know, what can you what can you play? The Queen H3 check is very, very scary for you. And yeah, also Bishop F5, yeah, it's, it's just bad. For example, Rook F8, I think, uh, Queen H3, King F6, Rook F1, just, yeah, take and Queen H6 checkmate. Yeah, it's just amazing. So, in this position, uh, of course, Black must take this pawn with the, with, the, with the King. So in this position, it's unbelievable position to think about, right? Because we have like down rook. What can we do? And this king is going, is going to c6, c7, and c8. And black is just one one rook up. And what we did in the position? But no, ladies and gentlemen, just amazing move by white. You can stop the video and think by yourself, but I can tell you, it's just not human thing. Bishop to e4. We are sacrificing another piece and. Believable. So the point is just, oh no, this king will not coming back home, right? So after king e6, of course, I don't know, take this one and I don't know, it seems like it's winning absolutely. Something around this one, king e6 and bishop f5, yeah, it's just game over. So of course after bishop e4 check, he must take it, right? King c4, I think just queen f7, d5, oh, queen f1 checkmate, unbelievable, yeah. Just, just crazy checkmate on the... You know, on the center of the board, king on c4, yeah, amazing. So, black just took the bishop. Thank you very much. I was, you know, angry and I eat all your pieces. But now, what a move by white. He played out the move queen to f7. And I don't know why the, um, the bar here in chesscom is doing like this. Maybe c4 immediately, this is the best move. Yeah, c4 immediately. Because queen g6 now is a threat of mat, mate. But I think overall queen f7, if I'm not mistaken, also this one is winning the game. Um, so it's just crazy. White just wants to play the move queen to f3. We checkmate immediately, right? And not only this one. White is threatening so much checkmates. Bishop c5, bishop b6, bishop a7, bishop f2, bishop g1. Everything is checkmate because this queen is doing a great job in this diagonal. Is avoiding from the king to come back to d5. So black playing the move bishop to f6 with the point that this king will run away to the f file. White is playing the move bishop to d2. Check. King d4. No, yeah, some checks here. And now he played the move queen to b3. Another brilliant move. Unbelievable moves by Wei Yi from China, the strong grandmaster, and he just another quiet move. Quiet move. He wants to put checkmate on d3. This only thing that he wants to do. So black is must play the move king to f5. Now rook f1 check. King g4, of course, the only move. And now another quiet move. Queen to d3. Another brilliant one. He wants to take this pawn on g6 and also queen to e2. Amazing moves by white without rook and a bishop. Can it possible? Just amazing. Rook to g7 not played because after rook g7, I think just queen e2 check, king h4 and h3. And with the point of king g queen g4 and also maybe king h2 g3. So this king is just nonsense right so he played the move bishop to g2 and after king takes g2 queen a8 king g1 bishop g5 queen e2 check king h4 bishop f2 check king h3 and now bishop to e1 and white won this just amazing amazing um game you know like unbe unbelievable I, I don't have words to explain and you know what in this position after rook g7 i think the point was that after queen e2 check king h4 a3 right and in in this position for example queen d7 i think just yeah king h2 right with g3 so bishop takes g2 uh, queen takes g2 queen f5 just taking these and yeah this position is just losing absolutely right i you know what i remember that this position was on the board but maybe I'm mistaken. I took the game from the mega database, so I assume it's not happened, and I, I probably, um, you know, didn't remember exactly. It was like nine years ago. But yeah, as, as it's written here, this was the final of the position, 
and it's just uh, it, it just crazy just crazy thing here and yeah white won this particular game we just I think 100% accuracy way he did it again is winning just amazing amazing game I really appreciate if you can if you enjoy this video just press the like of button and also subscribe my channel it's very important for me and you know what see you soon don't forget me bye bye